All right, good morning, and welcome to the second game of the third annual Battle of the Badges tournament. I am Griffin Lucher. You might remember me from being Lance Hall's sidekick at some Hazen Union basketball games, but I'm here without Lance. We're going to do our best, just like these players are. We're, we're going to be watching the Hardwick Police Department in the blue jerseys against Washington County PD in green. Um, this is the Battle of the Badges tournament. It is a charity event that the proceeds benefit the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Brochus Scholarship Fund. And we're covering a couple of games this morning on this early Saturday morning, but it's an entire day full of basketball. The winners of all these games move on to compete for the tournament championship between all eight all eight teams that are competing today. Here's the tip-off contained by Washington County. Jacob Fox passes the ball up to James Voris. He's gonna move to his left. 75, Kyle Laughlin puts up a shot, doesn't go in. Gene Cody with a rebound, and here is Chris O'Keefe. He's going to try and get the ball inside through the defenders, puts up a shot, does not go in. Long, long pass down to James Voris, who takes a three, does not make it. Gene Cody with a rebound, he's bringing the ball up. Turns around, looking to try and pass this to somebody here. Here's Darren Barber. Number five, we're gonna go with Raj Haley. I don't think I have a have a name for number five. Um, number five, if you're not Raj Haley and you're watching the replay of this, I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know, maybe, maybe Raj Haley <laughs> isn't the worst thing. Looks like we've got a kicked ball off of HPD. So it's going to be Washington, Washington County ball. There's James Voris outside the three-point line. He's going to pass it into not Jacob Fox. I don't know that guy's name yet. <laughs> Here's Voris outside the three-point line. Takes a shot. This time he makes it. All right. So the scoring has opened up here for James Voris, three-point lead for uh, Washington County. HPD brings the ball back up here. Long three-pointer, controlled by Kyle Laughlin. Laughlin gets the ball back outside. He's gonna try and feed it inside, but can't quite make that pass work out. Here's Darren Barber, he's gonna get the ball up and in. Here is Kevin LaHoe. Can't hit from inside. Kyle Laughlin drives right through the whole defense, puts up a shot, can't make it. Fox can't make it off his put back. Oh! Three point attempt. Uh, by Chris O'Keefe, does not go in. Here's Kevin with the rebound. <laughs> Raj Haley with, a, with an interesting play there. Attempts a three-pointer, or looks like he wants to take a three-pointer. Doesn't do it, drives inside. Runs into a Washington County defender, Andrew Bent, who gets called for the foul. HPD with the ball. They try the tricky inbound play. Doesn't work out. Washington County with the ball. Jacob Fox with the floater. Five to nothing, Washington County. Come on, Blue. Five, 11 left in the first quarter. We're just getting started here. Gene Cody cannot connect on that. Mid-range turnaround shot. Uh, 
Washington County tries to get up a couple of shots. Can't quite make it work out. HPD controls the rebound. Here's Chris O'Keefe. Gets stuffed. But a nice little hook shot underneath. Can't quite go in. O'Keefe for three, no. James Voris will bring it up for Washington County. Again, with the elbow shot for Washington County, does not go in. Full court pressure defense there by number 77, James Voris. Forces the ball to go out of bounds, but HPD retains possession. Big substitutions here. Uh, as if I wasn't confused enough on names. See, we've got number 10 is Dana Camp coming in. There must have been some kind of trade in between games because he used to be on the Hardwick Wolk of Fire Department team, but now he's on the HPD team. So we're waiting for an inbound pass. It looks like HPD needs to get somebody to go and take that inbounds pass. So, all right, now we've got five players on the court. Taylor Abbott, number 43, is, <laughs> is back to ready to receive the inbound. All right, Abbott passes over. Try to get the ball inside. Ball's collected by number 13, Mitchell. And looks like a foul called against Washington County. So Taylor Abbott will pass the ball in. Looking to get it underneath the camp. Couldn't quite get there. Here's Mitchell out to Max Ruse. And here is Tanner Atwood with a shot, does not go in. Rebound, transition, here is Kyle Laughlin. Easy layup. Seven zero, Washington County. Camp kick, get on the end of that pass. Washington County gets the ball back. Here is Jacob Fox. Baseline jumper, does not go in. Laughlin gets the rebound, he's gonna try and put back. Stuffed by the rim. Jacob Fox, no good. Laughlin and Fox are both really big and it's getting pretty easy for Washington County to get those offensive rebounds. Nine nothing the score is now for Washington County. Pass deflected by 57, Daniel Burrows. And James Voris hits a layup transition. We've got a timeout called. Uh, 2.41 left in the first quarter. The shutout <laughs> is underway here. But uh, team coach, spiritual leader, Kevin LaHoe, calls a full timeout for HPD. Gonna talk things over, try and get on the board here. 11 nothing for Washington County right now. 2.41 left in the first quarter. Lots of time left to try and make up this lead. I just want to say that uh, <laughs> if I get any of the names wrong based on you know the pronunciation or just who is who, then uh, apologize about that. There was a, what I'm told is that there was a little bit of a snafu with the jerseys that they had ordered uh, for the sizes. So they had to kind of mix and match which, which people are in which jerseys as uh, number one, Rory Tebow from Washington County slaps the ball away, but can't really get on the other end of that, so HPD contains the ball, re retains the ball. Abbott sets a screen that lets uh, 
Fernandez get a little bit more open. Here's Mitchell to Abbott. Abbott for three. No good. Fernandez with a rebound underneath. Can't get the put back to go in. Tight defense, full court here. So now we're in transition, and the layup for Laughlin does not go in. He gets, he is far too big underneath <laughs> and gets all those rebounds, but still can't connect on any of those putbacks. Here's 34, Tanner Atwood bringing the ball up. He is guarded by Laughlin. Gets it out to, uh, let's see. Number four, Fernandez. Fernandez gets the ball stolen from him. But Giancarlo Di Genova can't uh, control the dribble there. Ball goes out of bounds. HPD ball. Here's Fernandez bringing the ball up. Guarded by Di Genova. Di Genova gets the ball. Here's Daniel Burrows goes up. Hits the shot. Has a chance for an and one here. Kyle Laughlin is going to sit. I think this is Jacob Fox coming back in for Washington County. So Burroughs is going to try and complete the three-point play. He can't make it, but rebounded right to Fox. And the ball goes out of bounds off of... Uh, off of the basketball goal frame there. So HPD gets the ball. They've dug themselves a little bit of a hole here. A minute 10 left and they're scoreless. Washington County's come out to a 13 point lead. All right, three pointer by, uh, by Mitchell. We'll open up the scoring for HPD here. 13 to three, we've got 50 seconds left. Three-point attempt by Washington County. Can't go in. Rebound by HPD. Ball goes off of Washington County, so HPD is gonna, gonna keep the ball. Taylor Abbott gives somebody in the crowd a thumbs up. Thumbs up because they're on the board now. Here's Tanner Atwood. Atwood for three. Off the glass, no good. Daniel Burrows brings the ball down. Tebow tries to keep the ball in bounds, but steps on the line. So HPD is going to get the ball back. 21 seconds left in the first quarter. 13 to three uh, for Washington County. Taylor Abbott gets the ball out there. Here's Tanner. Dana Camp. Fernandez, he's gonna take a shot. Three pointer doesn't go in. Buzzer beater, no good from Tanner Atwood. So at the end of the first quarter, 13 to three, Washington County is, uh, is up against HPD. You're watching the third annual Battle of the Badges tournament. Again, this is a uh, charity event between different uh, fire and police and other kind of public safety <laughs> officials <laughs> throughout the state. Um, this is the Washington County PD against the Hardwick Police, police Department. Um, proceeds of this event go to the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Brochure Scholarship Fund. HPD is going to try and regroup here. Down by 10 at the start of the second quarter. <laughs> going to start the second quarter here. James Voris is going to inbound the ball. Here's number 34, Rai Schnee. I haven't gotten a look at that gentleman's shirt yet, so here's number 75, Kyle Laughlin, with a nice touch on that three-pointer.
ball is brought up by Darren Barber. Gets the ball to Gene Cody. Here is um, Raj Haley, I think. <laughs> Nice step to get around the defender there for uh, number 15, Chris O'Keefe. Can't make the layup, but neither can James Voris in transition on the other end. So HPD gets the ball back. Voris is going to commit a foul. A little bit aggressive there on defense. So here's Kevin LaHoy. He's going to bring the ball up. Big deficit to try and overcome here in the second quarter. He's going to find Raj Haley, who gets the ball under, underneath. Put back in by Darren Barber. 16 to 5 now for Washington County. Forrest calmly brings the ball up. Here's Kyle Laughlin. Short jumper can't go in. Chris O'Keefe brings the ball up. Passes across the court. To Gene Cody, who can't control the pass. Boris brings the ball up again for Washington County. 16 to 5 here in second quarter. We got six minutes and 23 seconds left. Myers' attempt at the sh at the shot from mid from uh, the baseline doesn't go in. O'Keefe controls it. Darren Barber with the fake, tries to get to the baseline. Looks like a kicked ball here by Washington County. So uh, HPD will get the ball from out of, out of bounds. A couple substitutions here. Meyer comes out for Washington County and in comes Andrew Bent. Really nice play by Gene Cody. Fakes out the defender on the three-point shot, drives inside, connects on the finger roll. HPD's got their, got their legs in them now, playing a little bit of good basketball here. Trying to cut away at this lead. 16-7 uh, to seven now for Washington County. We're in the second quarter. Five minutes and 39 seconds left as Kevin Lahoey gets that rebound. He's going to bring it up. Taking their time here. Plenty of game left to play. But Voris is going to block that that pass. And uh, looks like Fox is going to block that shot. He's going to, looks like we got a jump ball. <laughs> Some aggressive full court defense by Raj Haley. Boris passes it in to Burroughs. Back to Boris. Here's Burroughs, long shot, no good. In and out. Here's Gene Cody. Passes over to Haley, who cannot find another player to the end of that pass. Boris brings the ball up for Washington County. Again, same thing on the other side. Can't find a pass <laughs> inside a uh, Washington County player there. Somehow did a handstand trying to corral that ball, but uh, could not quite get it before he went out of bounds. So here's Kevin Lahoey for HPD bringing the ball up. Nine point deficit that they're trying to cut away at. Four and a half minutes left here in the second quarter, so we're still pretty early in this game. Here's Haley. He's going to get the ball inside to Cody. Cody's shot does not go in. Haley gets the rebound out by half court. Fakes out a defender there. Passes the ball off to Chris O'Keefe. O'Keefe. Way out to Cody. Back to O'Keefe. On the baseline. Nowhere to go. Back out. O'Keefe gets the ball again, playing a little two-man game. Foul committed by Washington County. 
That was Andrew Bent on the foul there. Although I, I don't think they're keeping track of fouls. I don't think anybody's like fouling out or anything in, in this uh, charity event. Ball goes out of bounds. Washington County ball. Here's uh, here is James Boris. Guarded by Lahoe. Gets the ball inside. And there's Kyle Laughlin. Nice, easy little two-point bucket from inside the paint. Here's Haley. Whoa, the Euro step, and then the kind of left-handed, hook shotty, finger rolly thing didn't quite go in. But neither does James Voris' shot in transition. Lahoe gets the ball up quickly to a stumbling Chris O'Keefe, who somehow gets out of that, takes a shot. The running to the left right hand shot does not go in. Washington County brings the ball up. This is Burroughs. He's going to lose the ball, get it back, take a shot. Goes in. Another timeout called by uh, HPD. <laughs> 20 to 7 now. Uh, is the score line for Washington County. They have a 13 point lead. We got two minutes, 49 seconds left in the second quarter. Not sure about the rules and how many timeouts each team gets or anything, but they're using them pretty liberally here. He might as well. We've got some mass substitutions here for HPD. The B squad is in. Here's Taylor Abbott. She's going to inbound the ball to Taylor At uh, Tanner Atwood. Atwood brings the ball up. Guarded by Genova, D. Genova, excuse me. Back to Atwood. Atwood gets by the defender and gets the ball to Max Ruse, who loses it. D. Genova con contains that ball, corrals that ball. <laughs> um, shot by Washington County, no good. Here's Tanner. The long pass doesn't work. Burroughs tries to take it all the way. Jacob Fox is right there with the rebound. 22 to 7 here in the second quarter between Washington County and HPD. Washington County coming out with a pretty significant lead here. Here's number 13, Mitchell for HPD, and there's Taylor Atwood, or Taylor Abbott, I mean. Can't connect. Here's Burroughs, Burroughs is quick. Tries to get the ball underneath in transition, can't do it, but turns around, regathers, takes a shot, goes off the glass and in. So here's Tanner Atwood, guarded by DiGenova. Running shot, no good. Burroughs with the rebound up to number four, Brendan Degree. Oh. Daniel Burroughs looks like he might have twisted an ankle. If you're going to have any kind of sports injury, I guess a place <laughs> the place to have it is somewhere where everybody has first aid training. Eight different squads for all full of first aid trained players. Burroughs has helped off the court. Washington County is going to take a minute to regroup. Looks like Roy Tebow is going to be subbed in uh, for the injured Burroughs. Here's Fernandez bringing the ball up from HPD as we get back underway here. 24 to 7 Washington County lead. Fernandez just takes a three. Sees a little bit of daylight. Can't make it. It's Todd Stackhouse with the rebound. Takes a three-pointer, passes it in. Brandon Degree with a nice, easy layup. Nice pass by Stackhouse. Stackhouse is out on defense, playing a some kind of defense. 
give and go with Dana, um, Dana Camp. Kind of a pass shot combo there from uh, <laughs> from Fernandez. Ball goes out of bounds off Washington County. Taylor Abbott can't get on the other end of that inbound pass. Here comes Stackhouse with it the other way. 23 seconds left here in the second quarter. Stackhouse passes it in. Washington County shot no good. Taylor corrals that ball somehow in transition. Gets the ball over to uh, number 13, Mitchell. Here's Atwood, back to Taylor. Back to Atwood. Atwood takes a three. Ah! Oh. Very close. As time expires there, uh, at the end of the second quarter, 26 to seven for Washington County over HPD. Again, this is the third annual Battle of the Badges tournament, a charity basketball tournament. And we're gonna be covering the first two games here, but it's an all day event. Uh, the proceeds go to the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Brochu Scholarship Fund. And uh, the organizers here would like to say a special thank you to the volunteer referees who are uh, refereeing today's games, Hayes and Union for hosting us, uh, the Village Diner, Positive Pie, Connie's Kitchen, Hope Lodge American Cancer Society, and Dave and Wendy Brochu. We'll be back for the second half. third annual Battle of the Badges tournament. This is a game between Washington County Police and Harder Police. Washington County opened up quite the lead in the first half there. It's 26 to seven Washington, Washington County. Stackhouse with the drive into Degree. Who misses the layup. Rebound controlled by HPD. Here's Kevin Lahoe bringing the ball up. With the Big pass underneath, but a big block by Degree. Rebound by Fox, or nope, sorry, that's Laughlin. Here's Stackhouse, controlling the ball, playing point guard here. Over to Tebow, who takes a shot off the glass, no good. Laughlin, uncontested on that rebound. He is a very tall guy, and he easily makes that layup. Here's Gene Cody. No, I'm sorry, that's Darren Barber. <laughs> All right, this is Chris O'Keefe. He's gonna pass it out. Three-pointer, no good. Laughlin with the rebound. Out to Stackhouse. Stackhouse slowly brings the ball up. Screen set by Fox. Stackhouse to Degree, We're out to Tebow, no good. Fox corrals that ball. Watch the county gets possession. Here's Stackhouse again, being guarded by Kevin. Lahoe, can't shake him. Degree pops a three. Air ball, HPD with the ball. Here's Darren Barber, gets it out to Gene Cody. Kevin Lahoe, oh, tried to pass it to his buddy, but uh, hit him in the back instead. So here's Stackhouse bringing the ball up. 28 to seven here, just starting the third quarter, five, and a half, five minutes and 50 seconds left. Stackhouse, guarded by Kevin Lahoe. Fakes a shot, gets it into Kyle Laughlin, who is Fouled on the shot attempt. No, he was not fouled on the shot attempt. Looks like it was a travel or a jump ball. HPD gets the ball back. Here's Kevin LaHoy. Kevin LaHoy takes a three. No good. So in for HPD, we've got Cody, uh, Cody, Barber, Lahoe, O'Keefe, and Haley. Washington County, this is Stackhouse. He's gonna pass it to Laughlin, who goes the other way of the screen, gets inside, takes a floater. Two points for Washington County, 30 to seven now. Washington County over HPD. 
Kevin LaHoey brings the, brings the ball up. LaHoey finds the ball inside. Really, really nice play by HPD. Very nice. Got that left-handed layup. Kind of wrapped around the basket there. A couple of passes, kind of like a, like a multi-level give-and-go plan. All right, and then Haley blocks the, uh, the layup attempt by Stackhouse. HPD gets the ball back. Here's O'Keefe bringing the ball over half court. Finds Darren Barber for three. All right. Washington County still with a pretty significant lead. And if you're looking at the scoreboard, Washington County is actually under the label Hazen, and HPD is under the label Guest. Here's Laughlin outside, passes it up and over into Fox. Fox using his side, size and positioning, gets the easy layup. Kevin LaHoey walks the ball up for HPD. Screen set by Barber. Barber gets the ball out that pick and roll. More of a pick and pop, but it was snuffed out by Stackhouse. Stackhouse is going to hit the bench. Mass substitutions here for Washington County. We've got a whole new slew of players. Tebow, number one, Rory Tebow. Um, 34, Rai Schnee. We got uh, Sean McManus over number seven. They're all facing away from me, which is great. Uh, Andrew Bent, number eight. And uh, 34, Rai Schnee trying to guard Gene Cody. Cody gets the rebound. Haley underneath can't hit that left hand layup. So here's uh, DeGenova for Washington County bringing the ball up. Schnee back to DeGenova. Gets his pocket picked. Under, like, granny shot pass up to Kevin. And Gene Cody finishes on transition there. 32 to 14. HPD is getting don't know if they're getting back into the game, but they're playing really well now. Playing a lot better than they were in the first half of this game. So, you know, when it comes to some, some event like this, personal improvement is really all you can, all you can ask for. And there's, some, there's a really nice defensive play by Kevin, uh, Kevin Lahoey, but his outlet pass to, a, to Chris O'Keefe. Hits O'Keefe from the back, a little miscommunication. Washington County will get the ball back. Big substitution now for HPD. We've got Camp, we've got Abbott, Atwood, um, and um, let's see, Max Ruse. And number 13 who's got the ball right now is Mitchell. In true police officer fashion, I went down and, and talked to uh, to Kevin LaHoey, and he gave me everybody's last names. So if I don't know your first name, <laughs> I apologize. But here is DJ Nova for Washington County, who can't hit that uh, shot from the elbow. Mitchell brings the ball up. Taking his time here. Here's a screen by Taylor Abbott. Mitchell instead passes it away. Camp can't get it, but now he's got it on the outside. Guarded tightly by Rai Schnee, but he gets around him, makes a nice layup. Schnee punished for the tight defense there. If you get burned, then you got uh, nowhere to go. 32 to 16 now, Washington County over HPD. HPD looks like they're playing a zone defense. Uh, seems to be working though, as they uh, Dana Camp is able to get on the other end of that pass and deflect it out of bounds. Washington County with the inbound. Here's Laughlin. Inside to a cutting DiGenova who's shot from mid-range, doesn't go in. And HPD <laughs> gets the ball and then uh, is fouled there by Raishni. All right, number two, Max Ruse. Gives the ball off to Atwood. Mitchell with a shot from close range. Doesn't get it. Here's the big fella coming down in. Nice little layup in transition for Kyle Laughlin.
Mitchell passes the ball in to um, who we got here. That was Atwood. Here's Ruse with a long arching three, but it was kind of just a pass to Mac uh, to Camp. Camp again tries to hit, can't make it. Dijanova blocks that ball out of bounds. So here's Atwood with the inbound here. Atwood open, takes a shot, no good. Washington County gets the ball. Here's Dijanova in transition. E. <laughs> <laughs> Makes a little bit of a tightrope act there. Gets the ball out to a teammate whose three-pointer is no good. Dijanova with a rebound, no good. Schnee, put back, no good. And the ball falls out of bounds, mercifully. Washington County gets the ball back. Here's a substitution, Meyer comes in for Washington County. Pass out to Laughlin, who gets the pass broken up there by Taylor Abbott. Now Abbott's got it in transition. A long two, no good. Out of bounds, ball's gonna be back to Washington County. Uh, 28.6 seconds left, so we're almost at the end of the third quarter here. And uh, 34 to 16, Washington County's got a lead here. Both teams are playing pretty well in the second half. Um, Washington County's really, Built a pretty good sized lead in the first half though, and they're looking to just kind of hang on here as HPD's getting a lot better shots and passing going on here in the second half, but their first quarter or first half woes are, are gonna be a problem, I think. It's Kyle Laughlin is gonna try and make this a three-point play here for Washington County. Uh, players here getting a little lesson about how you stack the order here of uh, players on the block during a foul shot. Doesn't matter. Laughlin drains the, the free throw. 37 to 16, Washington County. Here's Dana Camp outside the three point line. He's going to pass it to Abbott. As time expires, Max Ruse tries to put up a kind of weird like submarine hook shot from three point range, does not go in as we end the third quarter, 37 to 16 for Washington County. Again, Washington County is the, the score on the left there in the scoreboard there under the, under the title Hazen and HPD is under guest with 16 points. We're going to move to the fourth quarter here at the third annual Battle of the Badges. This is the second game of eight. Uh, we're only going to be covering the first two here for HPD or for uh, HCTV. So if you want to catch all eight games, like these these poor guys have to play basketball all day. Uh, I, I don't know. I'd be pretty gassed after about one quarter, I think, of basketball. These guys decided they want to play all day. So if you want to make it to the fourth annual Battle of the Badges tournament, there are eight games going on where the winner of each of these first opening games will move on to the next round and, and they'll try to crown a champion of all eight squads. Um, it's a charity event and the proceeds will benefit the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Brochu Scholarship Fund. Gonna start the fourth quarter here. Washington County with a pretty significant lead, 37 to 16. HPD's play here has begin has has begun to gel. They're really connecting on some good passes and making some good plays. But that first half uh, scoring burst by Washington County is gonna be tough to overcome. Inbounds pass goes off of, Matt, off of uh, Meyer from Washington County, so HPD is going to keep the ball underneath the basket. There's a nifty little turnaround jump shot from underneath the basket there for O'Keefe, but it doesn't go in. 
ball stolen by Haley. His shot finds its way into the basket there somehow, and 37 to 18 for Washington County now. And cut away into this lead a little bit. Stackhouse brings the ball up for Washington County. Zvoris with a couple of fake shots, gets the ball into Degree. O'Keefe trying to get this ball and steps on the line. Jacob Fox brings the ball in. Here's Stackhouse. Washington County do a little pick and roll. Kind of doesn't really work. Here is Voris for three, though. No good. Collected by O'Keefe. He brings the ball up. Hands the ball off to Kevin Lahoey. He's guarded by Voris. Barber cannot get past Meyer, but the ball is deflected out of bounds. So HPD retains possession. Inside. <laughs> Cody tries a tries a little underhand around the world shot, but can't get it to connect. Haley comes up with that ball. Uh, number 12, Darren Barber, keeps the ball in bounds. Kevin Lahoey tries a little pass shot. Call it a call it a shass if it's a shot pass, but goes right out of bounds. So Washington County gets the ball back. Here's Stackhouse. Out to Meyer. Here's Voris. Stackhouse, the fake, tries to get inside, runs right into Haley, and that's going to be a jump ball, so it's going to stay here for Washington County. Meyer subbed out. I hmm, don't know the name of the player, just subbed in. Here's Degree from mid range. No good. Tussle for the rebound. Haley comes down with it. Being hounded in transition here by, uh, by Voris. Here's Barber. Open for three. No good. Voris gets the rebound. He's open for three. Decides not to take it. Here is Jacob Fox. He's being guarded closely by O'Keefe. He gets it to Stackhouse. Stackhouse. Stackhouse gets it back. Degree sets the screen. Stackhouse gets an open look. No good off the glass. Here's James Lahoey. Lahoey moves to his left. A couple of screens, gets inside. Kicks the ball back out to Haley, who is at the top of the key. Makes a couple of fakes there. Here's O'Keefe for three. No good. Rebound by Fox. Five minutes left to play here in the fourth quarter. 37 uh, points for Washington County to HPD's uh, 18. Pass broken up by HPD. Here's O'Keefe. He's going to get his pass deflected by Washington County there. Here's Fox bringing the ball back up. He's going to calmly meander over to the side here. Kind of not being guarded by anybody. Gets the ball inside to Stackhouse who is double team. Big switch out to out to Voris. Here's McManus for a long missile of a shot from three point range. Darren Barber brings the ball up. Here's O'Keefe with a circus shot that does not go in. They're fighting for the rebound. O'Keefe gets it back. Circus shot again. No go. Stackhouse brings it up for Washington County. He's got Voris in front of him. Voris to McManus, who can't control the other end of that pass. Takes a shot anyway. Haley with a big rebound underneath. Kevin Lahoey brings the ball up for HPD. Gets in front of the defender. Tries to get a pass inside. Uh, Darren Barber can't get that short little turnaround shot to to go in, and so Washington County gets it on the other end. Here's Stackhouse, no good. Voris is put back, no good. Fox 
also no good. Darren Carter with the volleyball spike to get that rebound out of there. You know, I like I like the I like the move where you, you try to incorporate skills from other sports into into the sport that you're playing at the time. Seen a little bit of va basketball. Seen a little bit of you know baseball passes. Look like they're coming from center field while the player's in transition. Timeout called by HPD. We've got three minutes and 18 seconds left, so a big substitution here as the B squad comes in for HPD. Still a pretty significant lead here for Washington County, 37-18. Three minutes and change left in the game. Again, the winner of this is going to be moving on. Taylor Abbott finds the other end of that pass, but she is guarded by Andrew Bent, who gets that, uh, gets that ball away from her, and now Washington County's got the ball, and they are fouled. All right. Andrew Bent's going to take the ball. Pass it into DJ Nova, whose shot from the top of the key does not go in. Mitchell brings the ball up, avoids the defender there. DJ Nova read that pass like a book. Oh, but <laughs> is equally embarrassed on the other end of the court. Big stuff there uh, by Fernandez. He fakes a shot, gets inside, makes a nice layup, but it can't go in. Mitchell's shot from mid-range, no good. He gets the ball back. Here's Taylor Abbott. She tries to drive baseline, and the ball rolls out of bounds. Off of Washington County, though, so HPD is going to keep the ball. 2.16 here left in the fourth quarter. Washington County with a sizable lead. Taylor for a long two off the side of the backboard. Here's Dijanova with the with the rebound, passes it up. What a what a nice move there by Degree. Kind of a jump, catch, shot, all in one. Made it look real easy, but it was probably not. Speaking of making it look real easy, there's a really nice play there by Tanner Atwood. Uses the screen, gets around the defender. Gets a little bit of open space underneath and takes a floater off the backboard and in. Here's Laughlin out to Degree. Degree's going to take a three-pointer. No good. Camp with a rebound. Kind of. Looks like he got hit on the arm there, so that's going to be a foul against Washington County. Washington County in kind of a full-court press with a couple of players, but it looks like the press is broken pretty easily. Here is Taylor Atwood. Tara, sorry, Taylor Abbott. Off balance a little bit there by the defender, but she comes away with it now. Oh, big block there by Laughlin, who almost looks embarrassed by how, how uh, aggressive of the stuff that was. The, cr <laughs> the crowd is rooting for the underdogs here, I think. Fernandez tries to get inside with a nice dribble move and is fouled on the shot and is going to be going to the line. First shot's no good for Fernandez. 39 to 20 here as we uh, are almost at the end of this game. Minute 13 left. Fernandez hit the, hits the second. 39 to 21. Laughlin's going to take the ball up for Washington County. Gets the ball inside to DeGenova. HPD gets the ball back off of a steal. Speaking of steal, Washington County trying to get one of their own, but Fernandez gets it. He's going to drive in. He's going to take a layup. No good. Camp with the rebound. Camp with the putback goes in. 
39 to 23. Like I said, you know, HBD, just starting to gel here at the end of the second half. First half looked like, you know, Washington County came out to a really big opening lead in the first quarter there, but HBD has really gotten, their, gotten it back together. They weren't over, able to overcome that early lead that Washington County was able to amass, but they ended up coming together as a team here, putting some passes together, making some really nice plays. Just about 10 seconds left here. 39 to 23 right now for Washington County as we close this one out. Taylor Abbott steals the ball, but with just a couple of seconds left. Puts up whatever kind of shot that was. And that's gonna do it here. Um, Washington County is able to beat HPD, knocking them out of the third annual Battle of the Badges tournament. They're gonna move on. But that's gonna be it here from us for HCTV. Um, if you want to uh, get uh, more information about Hope Lodge American Cancer Society, which is the uh, organization, one of the organizations that uh, this is a benefit for, you can go to www.cancer.org slash Hope Lodge Burlington. And again, this is the Battle of the Badges tournament that um, the proceeds were gonna go, are gonna go to the Hope Lodge American Cancer Society and the Samantha Brochu Scholarship Fund. Big thanks to our volunteer referees, to Hazen Union for hosting the event. The Village Diner, Positive Pie, Connie's Kitchen, Hope Lodge American Cancer Society, and to Dave and Wendy Brochu. So that's going to be it here from HCTV. Thanks for watching. See you next time.